Are you looking for ways to present your screen during your Facebook or YouTube live stream and look like a pro? Let me save you some time and tell you about a few ways of how you can do that for free. Hi guys, my name is Elena and in today's video I'm going to share with you two ways of presenting your screen during your live stream. It's worth mentioning that with YouTube live you cannot share your screen in the broadcast at all. So the only way to make it happen is to use a third-party app. Speaking of Facebook, you can share your screen during your Facebook Live, but the process is pretty limited. It's either your camera or shared screen that are going to appear in the broadcast, and you won't be able to switch between those, which actually isn't the best experience, especially when you're aiming to create professional-looking live streams. Facebook, you can do it better, you can do it better. By the way, consider subscribing to our channel, hit the bell button and be ready for awesome videos about live streaming that will help you to skyrocket your streaming experience. Enough with that sad stuff from Facebook and YouTube, let's talk solutions. So how do you really share your screen during a live stream? Right, using third-party app. Today I'm going to share with you how to use BeLive and OBS. The good thing is that both of these options are free. The only difference is that one is more difficult to set up than another. Let's start with an easy one. Here we are in BeLive Studio. Once logged in, you can connect your camera. I'll do it so you can see how awesome your setup can look like. Here I am and hello. Now just watch it. To share your screen, you need to click on the screen icon over here and then just choose the screen you're about to share. I'm going to share a Chrome tab and it's going to be Beeline website. So I'm just click share and here I am. I'm back to the studio. To show the shared screen in the stream, I need to click on the show in stream button and then I can play around with layouts. How cool is that? This one. But this one is my favorite one. Just check out how awesome it looks like. If I go back to the side and scroll it, this is what my viewers will see in the live stream. You see? This is how the screen changes. Congratulations! Now you know how to share your screen just in two clicks. Be live screen sharing is available on the free plan and this is absolutely awesome. The only thing is you'll have a small watermark in your live stream. If you want to remove it, you'll need to upgrade to one of the paid plans which are absolutely amazing and will help you to create professional looking live streams without learning curve. So it's reasonable investment in this. Be live also has this unique feature that allows you sharing content right in your stream. You can add a YouTube video, you can add a photo from Facebook, you can upload pictures or videos from your computer directly to the stream. How awesome is that? I'll attach a tutorial on how you can do that over here. At this point, you might be interested where you can sign up for BeLive. Easy? I put all of the links in the description below. Let's move on to the next option. If you want to use a totally free tool and you're tech savvy or you have time to spend on figuring out how the things work, you might share your screen with OBS. It's usually used by pro streamers with difficult setups, but you can use it as well. It's definitely more difficult than BeLive, but it's still an option. So here is OBS. Uh, to share your screen in OBS, you need to create a scene first. To do that, click on the plus icon over here at the bottom on the left and uh, name the scene you're going to have. I'm going to name it just scene test. Okay. Uh, click uh, the OK button and now you need to add sources to the scene. Uh, for doing that, again, you need to click on the plus icon over here and choose the option you are going uh, to use. We are going to use display capture. Once you click it, again, you need to name it. And let me test again. Don't forget to check this checkbox, make source visible. Click on the OK button and yay, we're halfway through. <laughs> um, in this window, you usually can choose your screen that you're going to uh, display and if you have a few of them, you'll have more options here. But for me, I have only one, 
So I simply go for this one, click OK button, and that's it. Um, this is the screen that I'm going to live stream. It's actually ready. You can also drag this window and change the size of it if it's something you're interested in. Yeah. Phew. <laughs> it looks way difficult than be live, uh, but it's still an option if you have some time to learn how it works. I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments below what option are you going to use to share your screen. And if you still have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer those. Thank you and see you in the next video. You can find all of the links to BeLight and OBS in the description below.